Who is your favorite relative, my friend? I don't have a favorite, but my niece is becoming very attached to me. After our rock climbing outing, my niece asked if she could attend Bible study with me. I was delighted, if not even a little shocked, that she should ask me to attend our Bible study. Most young teens aren't interested in the church, or at least it is not high on their list of things to do. I was honored to have her join me. We talked about Adonijah, taking refuge by hanging onto the altar's horns for protection. Adonijah thought God would protect him and Solomon wouldn't do anything to him if he hung onto the sacred altar horns. My niece made a very insightful remark at that point, she said hanging onto the altar's horns was like being on belay when climbing a rock. Being on belay means another person is holding your climbing robe, and they have your back so you won't fall. Don't you think that was insightful, my friend? God allows us to go through life under our own free will. We have choices to make and directions to turn throughout our lives. We don't have to make those choices alone. We are always tethered or on belay to God through prayer. Adonijah knew God would protect him, so he ran into the most sacred place he could think of. Hopefully, people turn to God in times of trouble or when they are seeking direction. Rock climbing can be scary, but I always feel confident that the person on the other end of the rope has my safety in mind. I try not to let life overwhelm me. I remember that God has my back, and I am never alone in whatever challenge I may face in life. We do not serve a distant God, God is never more than a prayer away, my friend. Our safe place is faith. But Adonijah, in fear of Solomon, went and took hold of the horns of the altar. 1 Kings 1 verse 50 Seek asylum and safety in me, my sacred heart. Run into the inner sanctum of my sanctuary of love and peace for safety and protection from whatever frightens your soul. Unfortunately, there will always be occasions when the soul is troubled, the heart disturbed, and the mind depressed. You usually will not find your way out of overwhelming situations by remaining in the middle of the darkness of the storm. I can keep you safe from the storm and guide you into the freeness of a new dawn. I have given you all the faith you will need to encounter the troubles and tragedies of life fully. Prayer engages your faith, so call to me for guidance and protection. Use your prayers to me to be like the horns of the altar of the tabernacle where asylum and safety were offered to the fearful soul. I talk to you often about fear because fear can take many forms to fool you and rob you of your faith. Listen to my voice and refrain from hearing the sounds that foolish fear whispers in your ear. Let faith and not fear rule your life, and you will always remain safe in my love. You must remember, my sacred heart, that there is nothing closer to you than me. You never face the world alone, I am always with you. I created a safe place for you and all of my precious children. Faith is the safest place you will find. The more you believe in me, the less the world will overwhelm you. The stronger your faith, the weaker the lies of the evil one will become. Faith is not magic, it is simply seeing me in your life. I hope you enjoyed my musing today, my friend. I didn't have a list of things for you to follow or a discussion for us to enter into. Perhaps I just wanted us to remember that there is a safe place to go in times of need. As we discussed yesterday, only about half the people in the United States pray. Prayer is the sanctuary of safety where we are held in the arms of God. May I pray for you, my friend? Loving God, we were not meant to try to make it through life alone. You surrounded us with friends and family for support and love. You place yourself in our lives so we will never be far from you. Come Holy Spirit, and empower your children. You sent Jesus to show us the way of faith. To have faith even in hopeless times. That even a mustard seed of faith will move mountains. Jesus, show us how to live faithful lives. We pray that you will keep us from slipping on the slopes of life. Watch our feet and guide our steps as we climb to the top. We need not worry, you have us in the palm of your hand. O oh Lord, watch your children, keep us close and safe. Help us remember that prayer is the sacred horns on the altar. When we are afraid, all we have to do is pray. 
speak to us when life overtakes us and quiet our souls. O oh God, let us hear your still small voice. With each sunrise, encourage our faith. In every sunset, remind us that you rest beside us. Throughout each day, never let go of our hands. In the name of the Savior, we pray and say Amen. I pray you will have a blessed day and join us again tomorrow. It is such an honor knowing that you are with us each day. We feel we are on belay, knowing we share a supportive community in our devotional material. It is a great feeling knowing that there are wonderful people like you ready to receive our humble offering and that you will know that there is nothing closer to you than the Spirit of God.